Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys, how are you guys? And today, guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. I am so, so excited. I have an awesome book for us on today, but I'm going to go ahead on and get started. I would like to greet everyone all over the world. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. I like to say, greet all of you all over the world. Hello to our new story time followers. Hello, I'm so excited to be reading you your first live story time on today. And to all of you that's celebrating a birthday on today or on this month, happy birthday to you. Hello, Shakana. Hello, Shaquavia. Hello, Minerva. How are you on today? Hello, Alexei. I hope you guys are awesome on today. Today's story we're going to be reading is The Jungle Book. And this is a Disney book, The Jungle Book. And this month, for the rest of the month, we are going to be working on numbers. So today we are working with number one. And this is number one. We are working with numbers. And this is one little mickey number one so remember guys we're working with number one we're working with numbers we're going one two three four and five but we are working with number one on today today's number is number one you guys are number one and remember we're going to go ahead on and get ready to do that story time song remember when we're practicing or singing that story time song Make sure you are practicing safety, safety first, because I know that song really, really, really gets you moving. I love that story time song, too. So let's go ahead on and check out that story time song. Remember, make sure you are practicing safety, safety first. There it goes. Story time with me. I can't hear you, Shaquavia. I know you're singing really, really loud. I can hear you. Yes. With Miss Sherry to you. Sing to you. Hello, Royce. Hi, Royce. How are you? Hello, Miss Nisha. How are you on today? I hope you're having an awesome day. I miss you, Royce. I hope you're having an awesome day in good weather there in Texas. Story time with Miss. Story time. It's story time. Royce, I know you remember that song. Make sure you're practicing safety, safety first. Shakana Royce says hello to you, Shakana. Royce says hello to you. So guys, go ahead on, have a seat. Moms and dads, go ahead on, enjoy yourself while Miss Doris read you and the children a live story on today, The Jungle Book. And Royce, we are working with numbers. We started working with numbers on today. So today's number we're working with is going to be the number one. Today's number is the number one. Today's book we're reading is a Disney book, hardbound book, and it's The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book is the book we're going to be reading. So guys, go ahead and have a seat while I read you a story on today. The Jungle Book. Deep in the jungle, Bagara, the panther was out hunting. Turn the music down just a tad, tad bit. Deep in the jungle, Bagara the panther was out hunting. He discovered a baby tucked inside a shipwreck boat. Why, it's a man cub, he thought. This little chump needs food, a mother's care. Perhaps Mother Wolf will look after him. Oh, hello to here. Oh my God. Hello to here, my little handsome. Well, let's see. So here is our second newest baby that has joined story time. Hello, my little handsome. I hope you're doing well, my little Tahir. Wow, I love you, Tahir. I can't wait to see more pictures of you 
I know you're getting big and big. And guess what? We have a new um, one of my cousins, Georgetta Rose. She is two months old. Miss Princess Georgetta Rose. She is a princess. And my niece is going to be having a baby. She's having a little girl. Um, what's her name? Alexa. I forgot her. Eliza is going to be the baby. She's supposed to be here April 2nd. So I'm going to be a great, great auntie. I'm excited. I'm excited. So hello to here and welcome to story time with Miss Doris. Hello, my handsome. Hello, Roy's. Mother Wolf agreed to help. They named the man cub Mowgli, and he grew up safe and happy in the jungle. Mowgli loved being a wolf pup, but everything changed when Mowgli was 10 years old. Sher Khan, the man-eating tiger, heard about the man-cub and searching for him. The wolves held an urgent meeting to discuss Mowgli's future. They agreed that Bahara should take the boy to the man-village where he would be safe. <laughs> The next morning, Bahari and Bowgley set off on their long, long journey. Mowgli was angry and upset. He didn't understand why he had to leave the jungle. It was his home. When darkness fell, Bahagra and Mowgli settled down to sleep in a tree. Nearby, Kay the snake was hiding in some leaves. Kay slithered toward the man cub. Ka's shiny yellow eyes seemed to have magic power on Mowgli. The boy sank into a deep trance. Kai, Kay slowly wound himself around Mowgli, ready to swallow him up. Suddenly, the hero woke up and sprang at Kaya. He gave the snake a terrible blow and sent him slithering away into the jungle. At dawn, Mowgli ran off. But Harry caught up with him and wanted to continue the man village, but Mowgli wouldn't go. He grabbed hold of a tree and trunk and held on really, really, really tightly. This made Bahara very, very cross, and he ran off, leaving the man cub all alone. Hey, Roy, Shakana said, how are you doing? How are you doing? Story time. Hey, Royce. I miss Royce. But not for long. Now we met a friendly bear named Baloo. Well, now, what have we here? Baglo asked. Mowgli, Mowgli introduced himself. He told Baylo how he wanted to stay in the jungle. Well, little britches, said Baylo, I'm trying to show you. Baylo enjoyed teaching his new friend about the bare necessities of life. Soon Mowgli could fight like a bear, growl like a bear, and even scratch like a bear. Hey Royce, have you seen So So Nisha? Have you guys seen Ebony lately? I miss So So too. I know she's doing well, but I miss her. Have you guys seen so so um Royce? Later that afternoon, Mowgli and Balo waded into the river to keep cool as they floated along. Mowgli sat on Balo's tummy. The big bear fell asleep. Monkeys were watching from the trees. They swung down and grabbed the man cub. Hey, let me go, Mowgli shouted. Balo woke up with a jump. 
but it was too late. The monkeys were already carrying Mowgli off to the ruined temple where they lived. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure you guys probably will see her soon. Oh, wonderful. You'll see her in two days. Tell her Miss Storytime said hello, and I missed her. At the ruined temple, Louis King of the Apes offered to help Mowgli stay in the jungle. In return, he run into secret man's red fire. Meanwhile, Bahara had heard Marguerite's cry, Mowgli's cries. He found Belo, who explained what had happened. The two planned to rescue Mowglo. King Louis declared that they declared that they should have a great feast and dance in honor of Mowgli. Mowgli's feet began to tap to the music and he joined in the fun. Just as Belo and Bahara had reached the temple. <clears throat> Who is this Lady A, Belu? King Louis rushed over to ask the Lady A to dance. But as Belu danced, his disguise began to fall off. Oh my goodness. He's in disguise. Oh, my goodness. The monkeys realized they had been tricked, and the ruckus began. The Hagrid rushed over to help, and Balo knocked down part of the temple. They grabbed Mally and ran to safety in the jungle. There he goes. His disguise is coming off as he dances. The main cub must go back to the man village. But Harry insists that the jungle is not a place for him. But the next morning, Mowgli ran off again. But Harry insisted that they would have to find Mowgli before the Khan did, not knowing that Shere Khan was close by listening. Shere Khan caught Mowgli's scent. He found him and leaped at him, and then he jolted to a stop. Belu had caught him by the tail. Shere Khan roared with rage and flipped Belu over his head. The bear hit the ground with a great, great thud. Suddenly, lightning struck a nearby tree and burst into flames. Shere Khan was terrified of fire. Mowgli picked up the burning branch and tied it to the tiger's tail. Shere Khan screamed and fled into the jungle, never to be seen again. Mowgli ran over to Belu, who was lying very, very still. Belu sat up. Mowgli cried, Oh no, oh no, Belu. Was Belu dead? No, Belu sat up and rubbed his eyes. Mowgli laughed and threw his arms around the big, big bear's neck. There he goes. His friend. Show me to you. A short time later, when the three friends reached the main village, they heard singing. A young girl was fetching water at the river. She turned and smiled, and Mowgli smiled back. Then he picked up the girl's water jug, and he followed her. Just before Mowgli entered the village, he turned to smile at his old friends. Mowgli is where he belongs sighed Bahara. Come on, said Belo. Let's get back to where we belong. And as soon as the sun set, the two friends headed back toward the jungle, singing and dancing happily. The end. Wow, that was an awesome, awesome short book 
the Jungle Book. I enjoyed reading you guys this awesome, awesome story on today. Remember, today's number we are working with is number one. Today's number is number one. One, you guys sit so attentively while I read you a story. Whoa, hello, I missed you so, so. How are you? I love you so, so. Hello, Miss Ebony. How are you on today? I hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Awesome day. Well, guys, remember, make sure you are practicing safety first. If you're not feeling well, Always, always let your mom, dad, nana, or papa knows that you are not feeling well. And they would take really, really, really good care of you. In some places, we're still practicing safety first, where our masks are mandated when you're out in public or playing with your favorite toys. Make sure that you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all, all times. Remember, we are still practicing safety safety first and some establishments where you may go if they still have to wear your mask sign make sure you are wearing your mask some places the mask isn't mandated any more but in some places they are so guys if you have to wear your mask make sure you wear your mask at all times and don't take your mask off unless someone tells you to or let someone tell you to you guys were awesome i enjoyed reading you an awesome live story on today well i love you guys take care and remember if you're not smiling on today i hope once she sees miss story time smile that you are smiling again to those of you that are celebrating a birthday on today or on this month happy birthday to you i love you guys don't forget to smile see you on tomorrow have an awesome day take care